Hey everyone, welcome to our extra hot, super summer special episode of Real Time 3D Live. In this episode, I'm going to fill you in on all the new updates iClone 5.5 has to offer. And now with iClone 5.5, the facial pipeline is complete. We now have a special file format that allows you to export and import all of your animation data, including facial and body, in a single file. This new Motion Plus format allows you to consolidate facial, body, spring, constraint, and accessory animation data all into a single file, so it's easier to transfer from one character to another or export to your favorite CG or game software. Whereas before you needed to save this animation data separately, now you can include your body and facial animations. Hey yo, check it! along with accessory and spring effect motion data into a single iMotion Plus file to be applied to other characters later on. You can even bake visibility data into the Motion Plus file to do things like spontaneously change your character's appearance. Now let's go into a bit more detail about all the data that can be included in a single iMotion Plus file. You have four different options for baking constraint data. The Look At feature allows you to direct your character's attention using a prop or a camera, while Path Constraints guide your character along a specific path. The coolest thing is that you can transfer all of this combined data to other characters, which saves tons of production time. Reach and limb lock constraints allow you to utilize the powerful human IK system to get more realistic and natural movement. Don't forget you can save all of this data as a Motion Plus file for later use. A couple more cool updates include the ability to stretch your character's bones out, as well as an enhanced facial creation process. We've added a new G5 normal map for more realistic face creation from your 2D image. As well as better talking performance with lip sync and tongue movement. Some are rarely found elsewhere. The stretch bone allows you to stretch out your character's bone structure to exaggerate certain animated effects, which is pretty cool. So what does the new Motion Plus format mean for CG and Game Engine pipelines? Well, let's take a look. In iClone, you can customize and animate your own characters with animatable accessories like this. After that, you can achieve pretty good results with the in-house lighting as well. If you want to take it to the next level though, you can export your character and animation data into FBX format and render in a program like Maya, which can utilize the Mental Ray Render Engine along with features like subsurface scattering, mesh subdivision, and motion blur. Be aware though, it will likely take you a ton of time to get a professional render in Maya. If time is an issue, take advantage of iClone's super fast rendering to at least get an idea of what your polished product will look like. Shh. We have to be very quiet. In addition, if you have any character models without rigs that you'd like to import, Reillusion is offering our new G5 Game Bone for any developer to use. The G5 Game Bone is an excellent bone rig, enhanced and tailored for use with low poly models in your favorite CG software or game engine. Now users of other CG software might already have their own custom bone rig for their characters. However, it's time consuming and complicated to create your own custom facial animation controller. Reillusion allows you to characterize any body and facial bone rig in 3D Exchange. Once you've done that, create your own custom facial animation profiles to use with iClone's real-time facial animation tools, and then utilize the universal facial animation interfaces to apply real-time facial animation and lip syncing to any of your characters. Here's a Maya render of a character we animated in iClone. So, what's your name? Ham Grogge. Are you ready to have your minds blown? Uh-huh. Oh, oh. Twerk it. Uh, oh. To the left. To the left. To the right. To the right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. iClone 5.5 is not only beneficial to CG users, but can also enhance your game production pipeline as well. 
Animate both the body and faces of your characters quickly in iClone, using powerful body and facial emotion editing tools. From there, just export them into FBX, and import them into any game engine like Unity 3D. Are you the smuggler? A sm- What? Why don't you ask this guy over here? I can be. That is, if you've got the cash for these items. The character designs that you see here were done by Cypherwolf, one of our talented iClone developers. The credits I have. Now show me what you offer. On top of that, iClone 5.5 also includes a bunch of additions to the terrain editing tools. Previously, users are limited to the select height map terrains included with iClone, unless they wanted to create a totally new one in external software. The new terrain editing features, including height scale, height offset, and smooth, allow you more freedom and flexibility to totally customize your own terrain topology. You can also lower the level of detail on your height map terrain if the demand on your system's resources is too much and your computer is beginning to slow down. You can also change other value parameters for your height map terrains, as well as bring in preset iClone materials. To change the topology, you can also edit the grayscale height map to create mountain peaks and valleys. These new editing features open up possibilities for all sorts of new and unique terrains modeled after any unique location on Earth. With the new editing features, the terrain physics have also been enhanced to exhibit smoother interaction with physics objects such as tank tracks or vehicle tires. To add on to the terrain goodness Reillusion has to offer, we're launching a new content pack with some of our own awesome terrains, modeled after exotic locations such as Guilin in China, the Swiss Alps, and more. It also comes with a bunch of stunning sky maps, so don't miss out. All right, now to end things off, here's a couple of user showcase videos that really show us the particular things that we enjoy about Icon 5.5. The Day When Alice Died is a fantastic work from user Tom Jantal, using the Unity 3D game engine as the base for this visually stunning, imaginary world. This next video by German user Vidi showcases how iClone characters and animations can be created in iClone transferred to a game engine such as Unity, and then used in an actual Android app. This awesome character selection screen demonstration was created entirely using iClone characters, props, and animations. Our hats off to Vidi. All right, folks, that's about it for this episode. Make sure you check out all our new tutorials on the new iClone 5.5 features, and keep it real time. <laughs>